Things like the culture uses their voices and uses their platforms to tear down the culture. You know, when I'm scrolling down social media, all I'm seeing is the culture using their voices and their platforms to tear down the culture. I don't see it sticking together, really. I don't see it helping each other out, really. And it's crazy because even the financial guys, even the guy that's giving financial education, even they're starting to jump in the lane of tearing down the culture. It's getting crazy. Even the sports commentators, the sports guys, the guys that, co that, that cover sports, even they're, start, they, they're getting in the lane of tearing down the culture. I don't know, you know, what started this mindset, or I don't know if, you know, we're just brainwashed or if we're angry, but we have to have a discussion, an open dialogue on these platforms, on these internets. And we need to have a discussion on what can we do to change this? What can we do to re-brainwash us to stop tearing down the culture to start uplifting the culture everybody is using their platforms to tear down the culture whether they tear down the black women whether they're tearing down the black man whether they're tearing down black children black kids why don't we use our culture i mean we know what's wrong in the community we all know what's wrong. We've been living in our whole lives. Why can't we use our voices and our platforms to change the narrative and start speaking life into the culture? What's so hard about saying, okay, yeah, I understand that we have these problems, but here's the solutions. And I'm not saying one platform or one person can change the world. We know that's impossible. But if everybody play their position and everybody play a part and everybody play a role in uplifting, then gradually we'll see a change. I don't use my page to tear down. I don't use my platform to tear down the culture because I understand how much power it is in, your, in words. I understand how much power we have in our voices. So I use my platform to uplift, to inspire, to motivate, to give help. Why use your platform? That We got enough people. We have mainstream media. We got mainstream media tearing down the culture on a daily basis. Why are we helping them tear us down? It's okay to acknowledge the trauma. It's okay to acknowledge the dis dysfunctions, but to constantly and repeatedly tear down the culture, it only tells me that we really don't want to grow. We don't care to grow. We don't care about the culture like we say we do. There's a lot of people on the internet fake caring about the culture. And I get real disappointed when I see the financial guys. I'm not going to throw no names out there. But when I see the finan the guys that's giving out financial education, the guys that, you know, we're rooting for, the guys that we, um, you know, they gave us some type of hope, right? So the guys that we're rooting for, the guys that, that gave us the hope, now it's like, you know, I guess I guess the, um, the, the, the financial education stuff is not getting the attention that it once was getting and now they are um, switching over into the lane of tearing down the culture and what we got to do is we got to stick to our guns fellas you know if you're, te if you're teaching financial education and that's the lane you're in and that's what you're really about and that's what you feel like your purpose is then you got to stick in that stick to that lane I'm not saying you can't switch up, but don't you can't go from being a financial educator and teaching financial education to tearing people down. It don't mix.
daytime you up here uplifting, inspiring, and motivating. Then when nighttime come, you tearing down and you talking, you, 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 you being messy. I think we need more people to speak up about this stuff if we really want to see change. Uh, I got kids, you know, so for me, I feel like it's my duty to personally um, be a role model, a positive role model. Uh, we have kids watching. My mom, I have, you know, little uh, nieces and nephews, cousins. You know, I got a mother. Um, aunties that I'm that, that um that watch me so I feel like for me um being a positive role model is really just it's 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 a no-brainer right you got you got when there's so many people looking up to you especially your, your kids especially especially the younger generation it's so important to um lead with positivity and, and to lead with love Unless you just don't care about your kids and how you, how they view you and, you know, how they look up to you. For me, I want to be a superhero to my kids. I want to be a superhero uh, to my mom. I want to be a superhero to my nephews and my nieces. That's just the way it is. You know, we are more than the butt of the joke. We are more than what mainstream media paint us out to be. And we need more people who are like-minded to step up and start, um, you know, just start being louder when it comes to uh, positivity. You know, when it comes to being right. When it comes to non foolishness, it's like only it's like the culture we only known for being uh, uh, we only known for being clowns. We only known for performing in the circus. When are we gonna um, be known for um, you know? Let's just say politics. When are we going? When are we going to be known for um, being strong political leaders? When are we going to be known for just being leaders in general? We have no leaders in the community no more, and the people that that, that are speaking like this, um, the culture don't back us. I don't care if you are giving away stuff, if you're helping the homeless, if you're if you are helping the culture, if you're doing it for free, if you're giving, giving love, giving positive, you, you're giving out all the help and love you can give. You can be the most righteous person in the culture, and the culture still won't push you forward. They still won't help uplift you. Listen, our voices don't reach the masses unless we collectively help our voices reach, reach the masses. The people that's speaking like this, y'all not help, y'all not pushing them. Y'all pushing everybody that's pushing the negativity. That's why we ain't getting nowhere. That's why I seem like the negativity is louder than the positivity because y'all not pushing and helping promote the people that are speaking like this. So it makes sense to me in, in a way to to where to, to why people some people be like you know what man I give up man I've been trying I've been doing this for 10 15 20 years man black people ain't they ain't help they not supporting me they ain't helping me I've been I've been I've been giving them my all they ain't helping man I'm I'm straight you know I got a free chat where I give out free information on grants uh, how to build your credit how to get funding I'm talking about it's all free I don't charge a dime. And I barely get people that say thank you. I mean, the ratio don't match. If I got five, ten thousand people that's in this chat and only 30 people saying thank you, it's not adding up. So I like I barely get people that's I, I, like I said, I got thousands of people in the chat. I barely get people 
they uh, shouted me out on the internet saying thanks man everybody go check go Rick, check out Rick he you know he giving out free game on how to build your credit he giving you templates on how to build your credit he don't charge nothing it's free of charge he giving you all kind of resources go get funding he don't charge a dime I don't not one I don't see not nobody really promote me or push me on the internet with all the help that I give But the funny thing about it is I'm still giving help. Because ultimately that's not what I do it for, but I'm a human being. So I still want to see appreciation for the love and the help and the support that I'm giving. We just gotta do better black people. You know, I'm just I'm tired of scrolling down my timeline and seeing a bunch of negativity, a bunch of us beating up on us. You know, I just seen um, and I don't really speak on other people much, other people businesses. You, you all, if you watch my platform, you know I only speak on stuff when I'm trying to um, shed light on when I'm just shedding light on the, on the situation. So I seen Fifty Cent, you know, him and Dame. Well, I ain't gonna say even go back and forth. 50 Cent said what he said, and I liked how Dang switched it up and kind of kept it. He kept it all love. He like, woo woo. He didn't, yo, look, let's make this a competition. This ain't about no war. This ain't about no beef. 50 years old, got time for that. He like, yo, let's just, you know, let's just do a, uh, let's have a CEO competition, you know. And then not only that, share my stuff on, let's share it, let's share it on each other's platform. It was, it, it's, it's, it, like, it wasn't like, a, it's not like a beef where it's like, Goofy, you know he 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 switched it up and made it to where okay we're gonna have a professional beef as grown men, but it's not gonna really be a real beef. It's gonna be more so us shedding light on each other's um, streaming services. He said, "Listen, okay, you upload someone, put a movie out, put put your streaming service out, upload this today. I'm gonna upload my stuff, then we're gonna share on each other's platform. If we're gonna compete, let's compete like that. Let that be the competition. If I'm gonna compete with you." Okay, let's compete, but let's do it on the friendly, let's make it a friendly competition and then let's share it to to the world so that we both can benefit from it. I mean, I, it's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, I just wanted to get on here, man, and just put that out here, man. It was it was on my heart, it was on my mind as I'm about to get my day started. I'm scrolling, I'm just seeing this, you know, and I don't even follow, I don't even follow nobody on social media for that reason. You know, cause I don't, I just don't want to see none of the negative dumb shit on my timeline. So, as I'm scrolling, and I don't, I don't know why Instagram and Facebook be putting that stuff on my homepage when I don't even, I don't double tap none of that stuff. I don't follow it, so I don't understand why they're promoting this on my uh, homepage. All this negative content. It goes to show me that that's what they really want us to. That's what they want us to feed into. The things that you consume the most is what controls your mind. The things that you cons- consume the most is what controls your mind. So with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, what all they doing? They're just pushing out negative imagery to us. So that way, so that way, you know, that's all we know. That's all we do. That's how that it, it affects our actions. I understand this shit. That's why I don't follow nobody. That's why I don't double tap nothing. None of the negative stuff. I try my, you know, you know how you can, you know, how you can show, how you can tap that you're not interested in that particular content. I I did that so much, bro. And they continue to show me this content. I just gave up. So now I just, I just scroll into where I see some Gary V or, you know, something like that. And I just double tap that watch. I just, you know, I just really don't have time for the negativity because it don't yield nothing. I've been negative you know, most of my childhood, teenage life. You know what I'm saying? It didn't yield nothing. It didn't yield nothing for me, man. A lot of that stuff I had to clean up as I got older. 